This morning we are catching up with an award-winning actor who has entertained us for decades. Gene Seymour starred as Solitaire in the 1973 Bond film Live and Let Die. And then, of course, she went on to play Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman for six seasons. Now Jane is in the new rom-com Irish Wish with Lindsay Lohan. She plays her mom, Rosemary, and she's trying to convince her daughter to share her true feelings. Take a look. I was calling to see if you've had that talk with Paul. Not yet. I hope you haven't told anyone about my feelings for him. Trust me, no one in Des Moines cares, honey. Well, Heather and Emma don't even know, so... You mean you didn't tell them? I just, I'm not ready. Well, if your friends don't know, then it's entirely possible that Paul doesn't either. No, I've given him plenty of signs. And you should see the way he looks at me when we work together. Mommy gets me. Well, you're in love with him. Why don't you just tell him? Oh. <laughs> Jane, good morning. It's so good, good to morning. see you. Good morning. Good <laughs> morning. We get to see a little bit more of your comedic side. What, what made yeah. that the right thing for you at this point? You know, it's a really fun movie, and I'm a great fan of Lindsay Lohan. I think she's amazing. And um, the director, Janine Damien, I've worked with her and her husband many, many times. And they said, oh, we'd love you to play her mom. And I said, well, I'm not available. I'm doing my show in Ireland. They said, we're shooting in Ireland. And I said, but I'm busy. They said, two days, two days, your entire role, two days. So basically, I am on the phone the whole time. I never heard Lindsay Lohan's voice, not once. I met her, I met her when I was, you know, doing a, a wardrobe thing, and we said, hi, hi, and talked about five minutes. And then I had this Irish woman who was, you know, the scriptee doing it. I couldn't understand a word she was saying, because she's scripty. She was being very, like, quiet about it. And, like, so we just, uh, I consider this one of my great acting roles, yeah. you know, because I had to make the whole thing up. But it is quite comedic. There's mm -hmm. a lot of slapstick in it. But it's very funny. And I am in the whole movie. You would never know. Yeah, and with yeah. movie magic, you would never think otherwise. It seems like it's all, well, like, it's seamless. Phone call. But if you think about yeah. it, if you have a phone call, you mm -hmm. don't see, see the other person, do you? No. 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 Does that make it harder? <laughs> is it challenging? Yes, it made it really hard. <laughs> but you know what? I, I came on the airplane last night. I went straight to the hotel. The only person I see in New York is Lindsay. And really? a husband. And so we're having dinner tonight. So I'm actually oh, going to get nice. to know her now. Well, what are the chances? <laughs> Before Amazing. the premiere. It's like an Irish wish. <laughs> yes, like an Irish wish. So most of this film, Jane, it takes place in Ireland. You mentioned just like your mystery yes. series as well. Harry uh, Wilde. Yeah, yes. you star in that one. You executive produced that one. Yes. Um, what can you share about season three? For oh, some it's, better than, it's better than season two and season one. I didn't think we could get better, but it really is. And um, the character of Harry is amazing. And now, of course, there's possible interest uh, from a man in it and um, of course all the uh, all the crimes are as bizarre as ever but it's just such a great role I mean how lucky am I and uh, on on April they said it's one of the best performing ones and I'm waiting to hear if I'm coming back for four I'm sure you will. so uh, yeah they asked me you know do you think you could just keep doing this and I went, uh, I guess please yeah. <laughs> like like Rita said you know it's I mean, uh, ageism is not touching us. Mm -hmm. no. But I am playing a lot of older ladies. I, I just did, um, I had a movie coming out called Ruby's Choice, I think, in which I play Alzheimer's. I'm really into the Alzheimer's thing. I've got mm -hmm. this gray wig. I had it on Kaminsky. I've, I, I oh, can, that's right. Yes, yeah. this gray wig and I and no Botox just do fabulously. I can, <laughs> I can play 80, no problem. <laughs> what do you love about that, about playing those roles? Um, it, they're great character roles. I, I just did a short. I've never done one before. It's called And You Are... And and it's coming out in um, film festivals. I hope mm -hmm. the regular public see it. Again, playing a woman with Alzheimer's. So I, I love playing characters. I just mm -hmm. think it's fantastic. And, uh, you know, and, and the sky's the limit. And when your face moves, you can play everything. Yeah. And I, you've done so much over the course of your career. You're also a very skilled painter. Thank you design you. scarves and whatnot. But for the first time, we were just talking during the break, you're going to direct, officially well, direct. Well, I'm hoping to direct. You, you mm -hmm. said, what would be your Irish wish, somebody asked me. And, and um, I've sort of I co-directed without mm -hmm. any credit for years. In fact, actually on Harry Wilde, I, I'm the one that rehearses with all the actors. I, mm -hmm. I do the whole thing. I go, um, you know what, I'm old and I don't always remember my lines. Can you run them with me just to help me out? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I get them all in the back room and we uh, go through <laughs> it. And then I have an idea of what they're going to do and throw some ideas around. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it, you don't have time to rehearse properly when you do those things. Yeah. The only time you have is when you're sitting waiting for the camera. So mm -hmm. I kind of take that upon myself. But I'd love to direct at some point. And now um, I've optioned a script called The, the Truth About Horses, mm -hmm. which Christy Cashman wrote it's brilliant, and uh, it's a sort of catcher in the rye kind of yeah. piece. Really, really good. And uh, I'm going to produce it, and we're hopefully going to get some great director, but I will definitely be 
if not direct, I uh, mm -hmm. will co-direct. I'll, I'll be around, okay? We will be watching. We will be <laughs> Thank you so much, Jane. It's always great to have Thank you here. You. Irish Wish, by the way, premiering Friday, March 15th on Netflix. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.